So, uh, yes, welcome. Mm, like I always say, it's Mav with Ms. B. Uh, we're doing what is a linear function today. Take some notes out. Don't act like you're just going to get it. And let's go. <laughs> Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. A linear function is a function with a constant rate of change, a straight line graph, an equation that has no exponents on the variable or variables as exponents. Ding! <laughs> Does the table represent a linear function? So first of all, we have to say, is the rate of change constant? What do I mean by that? I'm gonna tell you. Look at the X column. Everything's increasing by one. That's constant. But we also have to look at the Y column. Everything's decreasing by three, also constant. Is the rate of change constant? Yes, this is a linear function. It's that easy! Yay! Okay, so we'll do the next one. Constant rate of change, right? One, 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 one. And then we have negative three, negative one, plus one, plus three. Is that constant? Not ag. No, so it's not linear. Okay, um, good, plus one, great, constant on one side, but what we got on the other side, plus 0.25, plus 0.5, plus one, plus two, that's not gonna be, that's not gonna work out for us, not gonna work out for us. The middle one is quadratic and the last one is exponential, um, but that's just free knowledge, that's free game. Does the table represent a linear function? So you should do these on your own. So pause the video and try to figure it out. While I drink some of my smoothie. Okay, hopefully you pause the video. Is the rate of change constant? Well, let's look at that first one. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. Ooh not going to work out for us. Plus two, plus one, plus one, plus two. Plus four, plus two, plus two, plus four. <gasps> yes, it is linear. Wait, but you said it had to be constant. Well, guys, if I put a negative three in the middle of that negative four and that negative two, that would still be a plus one jump. And if I put a three in between two and four, that would still be a plus one jump, right? So I actually skipped numbers in the table to tricky you. Okay, so make sure you pay attention to that. So yes, that one is linear. Plus three, plus two, plus one, plus one. Yes, also linear, because I'm skipping. You gotta pay attention to what you're skipping, right? So if I filled in the missing negative four, the missing negative three, if I filled in, um, their y values also i would see that i had a constant rate of change so what you really want to pay attention to when it's skipping stuff is you want to pay attention to the ones that are consecutive okay does the graph represent a linear function so the question that we're asking ourselves in this one is is the graph a straight line so easy so easy so for the first one i have a straight line don't i so yes it is linear for the second one not a straight line, so it is not linear. Third one, it's a, it's still a curve, so it's not. I couldn't put a ruler to that, so no, it's not linear. Try these ones on your own. Is the graph a straight line? I will drink my smoothie. All right, the first one, no, not linear. The second one, yes, linear. The third one, yes, linear. That's so easy. That's not even like really math. <laughs> okay, does the equation represent a linear function? Yes or no? The question that we are asking is, is it an equation with no exponents on the variable or variable as an exponent? 
okay? Those things, if there's exponents on the variables or the variable is an exponent, cannot be linear. So first one, yes, it is linear, passes the guidelines. Second one, no, it's not linear because it has a squared, an exponent, that's quadratic, we're not doing that. No, not linear, because the x is an exponent. You see how it's tiny up there? That's an exponent, the variable is an exponent, not allowed. Um, yes, this is linear. Yes, this is linear. Yes, this is linear. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. We love to see it. Again, you got to try on your own. That means pause the video. All right, is the equation, is it an equation with no exponents on the variable or a variable as an exponent? Yes, this first one is linear. No, because exponent of two, not linear. Yes, this one is linear. Yes, this one is linear. No, not linear because it has an exponent. No, not linear. You also cannot have variables in a denominator. I should probably add that to the definition. <laughs> so I tried to trick you on that one, sorry. If I got ya, so sad. Okay, anyway, <laughs> that's that lesson. Really easy, really straightforward. Uh, go back, see if you can do it without my help. Tell your auntie, tell your mama, tell your grandma and her kids and your fake cousins and your play cousins and um, like, subscribe, all that jazz. <laughs> I'll catch you the next one.